Thank you, Nancy. A record-setting night for the Brooklyn Nets. The offense continues to execute at such a high level. Richard, they were two three-pointers away from tying the NBA all-time record. They set the Nets franchise record with 27 trays. And they did this without Kevin Durant, one of the best shooters in the history of this game. That shows you how potent this Nets offense is. But it was really their defense. They broke away when they got multiple stops in the row. That's always going to be the conversation. Can the Nets string together enough stops? Because we know that there is no question about their offensive efficiency and their offensive firepower. How about the chemistry that you're seeing between Kyrie Irving and James Harden right now in the Brooklyn backcourt? Well, we talked about in the open, there was all this conversation about, oh, well, Kyrie said he's the point. It doesn't matter. It's positionless basketball. You are playmakers. Kyrie is an elite scorer. I think he feels better in that position. And when you have uh, a guy like James Harden, who is leading the NBA in assists, one of the best playmakers in the entire league on your team, the chemistry is going to come. And I think sometimes defining roles like, hey, I know I'm a point guard, but you are an amazing playmaker. Let's just kind of define that and let's move forward together and when you have superstars Richard there's no doubt that they're going to figure things out on the court on their own that's part of the process of becoming a terrific team and developing uh, the, the kind of connectivity that you look at for a team that's trying to vie for a championship yeah, and when you look around this league, this team has all of the components. There are some things that they need to address. They have to shore up the turnovers. They have to shore up the rebounding and their defense. But ultimately, you see that chemistry coming. And, you know, Steve Nash is doing a great job of mixing lineups in, trying to find the second unit, staggering his stars, doing the things that he can so that they can build towards a good stretch when you get to the end of the season. Second half of the back-to-back -back in Phoenix. The Nets take on the Suns, a team that's certainly on the rise right now, RJ. Yeah, no, the Phoenix Suns, I, I took a little bit of heat saying that Chris Paul should be mentioned in the MVP conversation because wherever he goes, success follows. The, the Phoenix Suns haven't made the postseason in 11 seasons, and now that Chris Paul shows up, they're all of a sudden in the top five and one of the better defensive teams in this league. So it's going to be an exciting game. Chris Paul, Devin Booker, DeAndre Ayton, they have a very talented team in Phoenix. Three straight wins for the Brooklyn Nets. Five-game West Coast swing continues when the Nets meet the Suns. Nancy, back to you.